Hello everybody and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. On the last episode, we finished up uh, chapter one of Ophelia's story. And let me tell you, getting being getting to where I can be able to do chapter two without support from the other party members that you can get. Oh my gosh, it is ridiculously difficult. I had to make sure I killed a Kate, which is a rare spawn, which flees very often. I think I got lucky because it used grooming. But Ooh, boy, high accuracy, high defense, but they have a little health. But, no, my gosh. That accuracy, I mean, high evasion, that evasion that they have is ridiculous. And, um, this, the, the, this villager with the bow, extremely useful. If it wasn't for this villager, I don't think I would have got to this level. So, that was great, because I needed it. And, um, so without the the ability to request them to join me and stuff, I don't even know if I'd be able to do this. So I don't know if I'll be able to get through it with all the characters. But I found the shrine randomly as I was leveling up for Apothecary. And I was like, oh, well, I'll wait till I'm recording to go and get that. But then I was wandering around and I also found the shrine for the hunter. Shrine of the Huntress. I was like, oh, that could be cool. That could be good. A voice echoes in your head. Hail, Traveler. I am Dracindy, the Huntress. Unto thee who does boldly venture to this place, I impart the knowledge of the heavens. Which makes me like, I think when I'm, after I'm done, I'll look around for all the other, um, additional classes. Secondary jobs. You can now equip secondary job from the main menu. Simply select jobs on the main menu and you can equip the secondary job. Why don't you give it a try? Because I'm, I'm close to, to finishing hers. Open up new stra secondary jobs. Open up new strategies in the battle with secondary jobs. If you gain a new job during your journey, simply go to job screen to use them. A secondary job changes more than just the weapons and skills available to you. You can switch your secondary job freely, but only one character can use a given secondary job at a time, which I shouldn't have to worry about in these playthroughs if I can if if it's possible to go through the whole game with one character. The problem is I'm not sure uh Okay, there. So, it would give me the ability to use axe and bows. Okay. But I also need the JP. The problem, I need, um... I need 5,000 JP for Elfric's uh, PCs, which I definitely need. So, how does the skills work? Oh, okay, I, I see. That's not bad. Do heavy lightning damage to a single target, so that gives me lightning. Attack a random foe five to eight times with a bow. Do critical damage with a bow to a single foe. Lightning damage, cause a single foe to act at the end of the turn. Mercy strike, attack a single foe with a bow, otherwise lethal attacks will instead leave the target with one HP. Huh. Oh, this is probably for being able to catch them easier. Arrowstorm. Attack all foes five to eight times with a bow. Increase allies' critical rate and recovery for two turns. Huh. You ask me? I would say... The... Thunderbird, the Aerostorm, I want to say Accuracy, but I'm going to say Mercy Strike.
And now I would say take aim. So now they're close to the same. This one needs 3,000, this one needs 5,000. And what did we get from, from there? So I guess we can only have uh, four equipped it. Gain an increased chance of attacking first in battle. Equip this skill with multiple characters while I'm not in effect. Increase the character, the, the increase the equipped character's critical rate by 50. Gives the equipped character a 50 chance of attacking twice and performing a standard attack. I'd say that's a good one. And honestly, even though SP is important, this one doesn't doesn't matter I don't think I'll, I'll hold off on that for now cuz I had to I had to also grind up to get the gold to get the equipment because and I now I need to get the equipment for the the bows and axes because they're not very strong makeshift bow and makeshift axe and the warhammer I emphasized her physical attack a little bit more because she didn't have any, and I didn't want to have to purely rely on her, her, uh, her magic attack. Which is, which is good, because she, she needs it. She definitely needed it. Wait, what? So how does this work? Does she still have like all of her um cuz if that's for the secondary job, why is her outfit here different from her outfit here? I'm confused. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Um World map. Let's go here. Because I also want to grab a pot carry while I'm here. Since I know where it is. And I have the ability to heal my health past its maximum. gonna save real quickly I think yeah let's save on this one okay so the apothecary is, there is no choice. this is where I had to grind I'll do my best. these guys oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave cuz I also have the increased ability to escape from battle which is very handy. The apothecary one is down here. The shrine of the healer. Which makes me wonder what the uh what the shrine for this one will be called. The cleric. Since this is the shrine for the healer and it's for apothecary. A voice echoes in your head. Hail traveler. I am Dolth Dolther. Dolter? The charitable. Unto thee who dost boldly venture to this place, I impart the knowledge of the heavens. You unlock the al apothecary jo as a secondary job. Which, that's helpful too. So let's take a quick look at it. Apothecary, um, I don't think I can check its skills. But it can only use axes, so right now to me the hunter is a better job because it gives me more variety. And since I'm pretty much fighting on my own, except for with a summons, a few summons, I think it's good to have that diversity. So I have three different things that I can try. 
versus my normal one. As well as the uh, light based skills and now the thunder. So that, that's good. I really increased my pool of uh, ars my arsenal. Save this again. And then we'll fast travel and start the next chapter. Yeah, recommended level chapter five, and then for uh, chapter one, and then for chapter two, you, it jumps all the way up to twenty-three. Okay, how are my how are my items? I keep clicking everything else that's wrong. Um, I'm gonna need some like plums too, so I can have SP. Other than that, I think I'm good. I have to find the... Oh, I also found some gold in uh, one of the buildings in some of these towns, which really helped. Because I think it was like 3,000, and I needed the gold. My little hunter uh, village friend, who has been very, very, very helpful to me, is usually I think she stands like right here before you recruit her she's been a, a really big help yeah it was I think it was in here no Ooh, but there's a chest in here it was in one of these places am I it, but I don't think it was here I think it was a house totally swiped about 3,000 gold and it came in handy I don't I haven't bought any items or anything like that I think it was here I think it was right here yep it's right here and he had a lot of money in this chest let's uh, hear a tale we'll go to chapter 2 Sister Ophelia set out from home alone on a holy quest. She is to complete the kindling, a sacred rite carried out every twenty years. She was entrusted with the first flame and bears its ember with her. Three churches must she visit to light their flames anew. Archbishop Joseph hovers now on death's doors, heart aching for her, the father and daughter who accepted her into their fold. Ophelia takes Liana's place, allowing her sister to stay at their father's side. Her gentle kindness inspired her to leave home behind, and has brought her now to town of Saintsbridge. May it bring a light to the hearts of the people living here as well. I am Ophelia. Greetings, Your Excellency. I am Sister Ophelia, and I have come to perform the kindling. Welcome. We welcome you to our Parish. Huh. Sister Ophelia. I am Bartolo, the Bishop of Saintsbridge. For you to come all this way in Sister Liana's stead. Yes. I am deeply sorry for the sudden change of plans, Bishop Bartolo. Indeed. Think nothing of it, child. I heard of the Archbishop's illness. You have my sympathies. Thank you. You are too kind, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. I have not been so blessed as to perform the kindling myself, but I know the pilgrimage is a trying one. And yet, there is also much to be gained for one who undertakes it with an open heart and mind. It will take every ounce of strength and courage, but for the sake of our church and our realm, we pray to see it through to the end. Thank you, Your Excellency. I promise you I will. <laughs> the people of Sainsbridge have waited with eager hearts for the coming of the flame bearer. The warm light of the sacred flame guides and shelters us all to the depths of our hearts and souls. Allow me to show you to our cathedral. 
My body keeps trying to yawn when I'm reading and I'm fighting it back. If you please. Behold, Sister Ophelia, this is the sacred flame of Saints Bridge. I stood in this same spot and witnessed the rite 20 years ago. At that time, the flame burned strong, but now it wanes and flickers. Almost as if it were sapped of life. Could it be? Do you believe it's some sort of omen, Your Excellency? <sighs> that I cannot say, but I do believe the kindling will restore our flame to its former vigor. Please. And now, Sister Ophelia, if you will. Yes. Of course, Your Excellency. I will begin at once. O great Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. Oh! Ah! See how brightly the flame shines now? Thank you, Sister Ophelia. You must be tired after your long journey. Please take this time to rest and recover. Thank you for your kind offer, Your Excellency. But since I am here, I would love to see more of your fair town. We are in your debt. You honor us, Sister Ophelia. But should you not rest first? I am stronger than I look, Your Excellency. I shall return. I'm thinking for the, the uh, I'm thinking I should bring party members whose stories that I've completed along when I do somebody else's story. But because the, the, the reason I don't want to, I don't want to do all the stories together is because of the way that it's set up. One, they don't really mean it together. Plus, I want to test and see if it's possible. Because I'm curious. But, like, if I go and I do, let's say, uh, Therians. I think he's a thief. I think that's the name of the thief. After I've finished Ophelia's, maybe I can go and grab Ophelia so that she's with me since I've already it's done her story fault, I, I, but I might not I want to see if it's if I can't pass it if I can't get through it because I just I don't have the ability to then I consider I might I might try we're gonna make you sorry I am sorry I am you think that if you cry, that'll make everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. And what's going on here? Break it up now. Break it up. Emil lost Daryl's brooch. It's gone now because of him. I, I, I'm sorry, Daryl. Sorries aren't going to bring back his brooch. You know how important it was to him. Why don't you tell me what happened? <laughs> Ask Emil if you really want to know. Come on, Nate. Let's get out of here. You said it, Daryl. We'll be back for you later, Emil. If you know what's good for you, you better find that brooch. Emil, was it? Uh, yes, um. Yes, I'm Sister Ophelia. I am a cleric, journeying on behalf of the church. Journeying? Oh, are you here for the kindling? That's right. But I've already wrapped up with the rites, so. Are you gonna help me look for this brooch or what? I you'd really do that for me? I really would. So cheer up. Got it? 
Thank you, miss. I mean, sister. Thank you, reverend sister. <laughs> Ophelia is fine. Now, let's get down to it. They didn't have to add the vibration feature to the fact they were searching the trees. That's See, irritating. I... Maybe it really is gone. This is where you last saw it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Daryl bumped into me and I guess that's when he dropped it. Hmm. Is that so? You see. The brooch belonged to Daryl's mom. She died just the other week. That brooch is more important to him than anything. I have to find it. I see. That's very kind of you, Emil. No. Dale can be rough sometimes, but we're all friends. Well, just that, well, after his mom died like that, he was always so angry about everything. Ah. Oh. Do you think he'll play with me again like he used to, sister, if we find this brooch? Of course. He'll see how hard you work to make him feel better. I'm sure he'll come, he'll come around. <sighs> I think we've searched enough for the moment. Perhaps it's time for a word with Daryl. <laughs> it was his money that I swipes. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's messed up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daryl, might I speak with you for a moment? You're that sister from before. Well, did you find my brooch? No. Nope, still missing. <laughs> then hurry up and find it already. It's more important to me than anything. Look. We're both looking for it as hard as we can. So why don't you forgive a meal, okay? It's his fault that it's gone. I'll forgive him when it's back. But how could... Not until you get it back. How sad. How sad? If anyone's sad here, it's me. I'm the one who doesn't have a mom anymore. Though I think that said mum. Yes, you are the sad one. I know the pain you must be feeling. And I also know that hurting a meal does nothing to ease it. There's nothing as painful as losing a loved one. But you do not love your friend but do you not love your friends as well? Hmm. Be beats me. He lost my mother's brooch. He doesn't know how I feel, and neither do you. Nobody does. How could he understand? He still has a mum. And yet And yet he's out there searching for your precious brooch. Searching for his friend. No. Yeah, right. I bet he's given up and gone home by now. Let the flame guide your path. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Would you come with me? Daryl, will you come with me? There's something I'd like you to see. Uh, you see? Yeah, what is it? Look. You'll see when we get there. Hey, wh where are you taking me? To the river out back. I want to throw you in and see if you know how to sink. See if you know how to swim. <laughs> There. Oh, that one was completely wasted. Okay. She paused for so long. Really looking for it? Oh, why? Oh, why 
can I find it anywhere? Where could it have gone? Hmm. You know, Daryl, Emil told me something. He said you've been angry at everything and everyone since your mother passed. But he hoped, if he could only find your brooch, that you might be friends again. Emil said that? I lost my parents too, you know. You did? I was a little younger than you are now. I asked myself over and over, why am I the only one whose life is so miserable? But my life was not all sadness and misery. I was blessed with people who loved me. At first, I had closed my heart to them in my sorrow. I didn't even try to see how much they cared. But there was someone who never stopped trying to cheer me up. No matter how much of a clod hole I was. Liana was always there for me. Here, Phil, this is for you. So now, won't you play with me? just how much your friends care about you. Do you understand what I mean, Daryl? Uh. <sighs> it's not my fault. I didn't make Emil do anything. If he wants to search, let him. Why is everyone always blaming me? Blaming you for anything? Huh? B but you just said. No one here is blaming you. Unless, maybe, you're blaming yourself? Perhaps you're feeling guilty for making your friend feel bad. Hmm? I can tell you're a good kid. So why don't you be honest with Emil? But I. I'm not. Here, I'll come with you. Let's go. Huh? What is it? Hmm. He's gone. Oh. Oh, Daryl, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I just... How do you do? And you're Nate, yes? Yeah. Yeah, what's it to you? You see... We're looking for a meal, have you seen him? He was here just a short time ago. And then? Oh yeah, I saw him running off after some dog. What? A, a dog? Yeah, just a few minutes ago. There was this dog, and it had something shiny in its mouth. Emil was saying something about how he was sure it was the brooch, and went running it off that way. It can't be. That way, toward the forest? What? The forest? No way! Is he crazy? That forest is full of monsters. We're not allowed to go anywhere near it. Goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just think about it. Emil's a total coward, right? There's no way he'd go into the forest on his own. I bet he's running home now, crying all the way. Idiot! Sh shut up! What? Hey, what's your problem? You know what Emil's like. Damn! I gotta go after him. <gasps> Wait, Daryl! 
Oh no! He's gonna be eaten alive! <laughs> hey! You come with me! You're now my new best friend. We will go and slay the dog. Cause I don't think the dog is a dog. It might be a wolf. But it also might just be a big dog. Well, I can finally go to this area. I couldn't go here before. Let's hope the difficulty didn't spike because I didn't actually see it. Is that a herb of awakening? There is no choice. Oh, these guys. Ah. Well, I don't really feel like fighting them. Of course. The only thing that I feel is a danger is his swallow hole ability. <laughs> Having such a weak bow does not help. And that stupid claw. Trying to think, because I don't really want to, uh. Because I don't want to use my summons. He didn't use that stupid claw. Probably be a good idea to use this. Ah, took them both out. Alright, nice. The flame guides us true. But do you realize how much SP that was? Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some more of those. Those are one things that I know I'm gonna have to keep stocked in my inventory. Ah, oh, there we go. Inspiring Palm Basket? Oh, okay. Flame, protect us. Oh, hey, um... Let's turn this way. I could get the upper hand here. You cannot judge me. <laughs> well then.
Huh. I knew they were gonna use that stupid claw. I really hate that move. <laughs> what? It missed? Way too many times. <laughs> okay. Ew. Not the best outcome. Okay, come on. Well, I think I can to say that was not going well. Let's uh let's do that. That's a lot of health poison. I guess it's time for me to kick this up a notch. Cause that's just not gonna fly. The amount of misses. I oh right, I don't have a good bow. That poison is what's messing me up the most. Oh, that's a good thing he missed. Bring about the miracle of healing. <laughs> okay. This should help. Cause that poison is way too much. Hi, friend. You like pain? The flame guides us true. Let's use items this time. Alright, and then resave it because kinda sorta don't want to die and then forget that I didn't heal and then die again. First time I've ever seen two of them in one place. Don't really want to fight both of them. Thanks. You're not supposed to be able to install anything. I knew I was gonna run into something. No I never get off that easy. I'll do my best.
I have to be extra careful while, while because of the, my playstyle right now. I have to make sure I save it every possible option. Well, there's a treasure chest. Flame, protect us. Well then. I was knew it was gonna do that. Let's see what stupidity that he's got now. I'll do my best. Yep, that's a lot of health. So it's a lot of health. I'm not gonna fight them. Shield. It's not better than what I have. It's just 20 more evasion. But I would lose. Yeah, I can't afford to be losing defense for for a little bit of evasion. really trying to flee because I'm trying not to waste items but they always use BP at the start of a battle they do that every battle they use BP and it actually really gets on my nerves because if I fail to run they're gonna each of them are gonna hit me at least twice yeah I don't trust going after that one Hold up, did I miss a turn? Oh great, of course. There is no choice. I'll not be defeated. Yeah, you would need uh you would you would need uh the thief. Cause I did find out you can't use um Oh, five. That's a first. I'll not be defeated. Glad I got out of that sticky situation. I did find out you can't use the um, the class skills unless you're the like the subclass hunter. You won't be able to capture anything. I got it because it was something new. But you can't. No I figured it was worth pointing out if you're using. Defeated. Say it's the hunter. You can't use the path action to. Oh my gosh. You can't use the uh, path action to capture monsters. And if you're a uh, warrior, I don't think you use the path action to, to, to challenge. And so if you're uh, the dancer, I don't think you can use that path action. Okay. Um. Where am I going? I'm more tempted to just reload the last save because I've uh, wasted items and I don't know where I'm going.
Because that's the entrance. And I'm trying to follow the marker, but... And they don't have an area map. They only have, like, a world map. Well, maybe I can expand this, this map. I can turn it off. Oh, that's useless. There is no choice. I swear the encounter rate best. is definitely higher than it was before. if there's an adjustable brightness and see look at the map I can see the, the the pointer on where I'm trying to go and I can see the symbols but I can't see the area on this map because it's like it's just fall there is no choice I'll do my best Trying to save my stuff because I know there's a fight coming up. I'll do my best. Okay, great. The the one when there's five. That that's that's the one where you choose to to not get away. Seems like maybe this way. Okay, because it does seem like there's another safe point. I mean, well, I mean, I didn't, I'm closer to the thing. That was just wrong wording. Great. You've got to be kidding me. I promise you, if she doesn't escape, I'm just gonna reload my save because that was almost a waste of my food. Okay. Yep. All right. Because as soon as I use the grape, so I have full health for whatever is coming up, that's when I get into a battle right before the thing is about to trigger. Yeah. No. Back to the title screen, because I'm not doing that. That was a. That's just a waste. That's just straight BS. So we're just gonna go right back in. Because screw that. That's just. Uh -uh. I'm not doing that. Usually in games, I would have. Um, I would have. See, look, and I was like one step away from the cutscene. But usually in games, I would have just turn the game off and load it because usually it's faster this game takes so long to boot that it's just not worth it even if I'm in battle it's worth just either finishing the battle or dying then restarting the game because it takes so long where's that dog go and how far in here am I very I have to find that brooch Emil. I, I'm sorry. I haven't found it yet. Please, just give me a little more. You idiot! What are you talking about? We gotta get out of here. But. But the dog. Are you serious? Forget about this stupid dog. But. <gasps> D 
Did you hear that? Emil! Run for it, Emil! Yeah, that looks more like a wolf. <laughs> Damn! Stay back! D Daryl! There's no time for Over here! Oh. Sister Ophelia? Such a relief. Thank heavens I arrived in time. Now get behind me, both of you. R right. You mustn't push yourself. Don't worry, everything's alright. You two were very brave. <sighs> now, if only we could be on our way. Well, you. that's, um... Not a bow. Not axes. That's not good. I'll do my Not the stuff either. Uh oh. Ugh. Okay, he's using all his BP. He just wanted to make sure that my health went right back below its standard. <laughs> okay, fine. Except one thing. I'm gonna do it again. Whew, that attack. Thanks, friend. There we go. My turn now. Oh, stupid life. I'll not be that defeated. That bestial claw takes so much help. Oh, stupid life. wanted to have my um and then it crit I wish you would have dodged that Kind of much more of a threat. Is that attack down? I'll not be defeated. Bring about the miracle of healing. Defeated. 
this should help. I'm gonna use the last bit of my SP stuff here. I knew that was coming, but I couldn't really do much about it. Bring about the miracle of healing. I really wish I had a lot more of these SP items. I wish I had more of the medium ones. I only have the small ones. I also wish the townsperson would jump in the way a little more. They sometimes do it often and sometimes don't. Oh my gosh, that was a crit. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. I hate when they just get those crits super random. Because they deal so much more damage than normal attacks. And like even when I'm running calculations in my head, I don't account for crits. So when they get those crits, it really just screws me over. I literally have five SP recovery items. Hmm. We're just gonna ask. It. Not lose to you. My turn now. At least I know what your weakness is. I just wish I could use it more than once a turn. So now I don't have to waste those turns trying to figure out what your weakness is. Before I do anything else. Yeah, once he starts shopping his claws, it just turns into a whole nother game. like you were here for less turns, friend. Great. This should help. Well then. I really wish they'd stayed for the whole battle though. I don't know why they figured they'd stay for a couple of turns and that's it. But I mean, I guess it somewhat makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I'll do my best. I swear, they spam skills like they are. They have absolutely no HP, li SP limits. Which actually, I don't think they do. Come on! <sighs> as soon as I have enough BP, because all I'm trying to do right now is break him. Once I break him, if I have 4 BP, I shouldn't have any problem actually taking a lot of health from him. But he keeps using the the uh, bestial fang so often like every turn which just does a lot of damage <clears throat> get that I'm supposed to have a full party at this point but that doesn't make sense why he should be able to use 4 BP without any sort of warning and just immediately annihilate all of my health. Well then. And I can hit more than once with this skill. At least twice. Cause now I have to hit him five times with the skill.
Okay, you come in for two turns and then leave. I can't waste turns summoning. Because they don't defend me, they just attack. The only time I can summon is when I break. At least it's not defense down that he's hitting. I did not mean to summon you. I was trying to use my, uh, my light. This is risky because if he uses two attacks and one of them is that fang, he can immediately kill me. Or if he just gets a crit with that fang. I don't like how frequently you're doing that. But I think that was all for BP, so unless he has something that's just giving him BP, I shouldn't, shouldn't have to worry about it. I'll do my best. He's stalking. Oh my gosh, he increased it. <laughs> I'm hesitant to make a move because I don't know what that does. That's for elemental. Do I have anything that I can use here? Ah, I found another weakness. But I don't want to use that. That takes SP. I think it takes more. If it's more than nine, it's too much. My turn now. Oh, it's seven. But is that doing more damage to him? How do you get so much BP? Like, I don't understand how you get so much BP so fast. They, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I don't think they follow the same rules we do when it comes to how much they get. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense because he's been doing four attacks and then like two or three attacks, but you don't get BP on the turn that you use BP. So even if he did that, he would have to start the battle with a lot. Did you just... I thought you guys were supposed to last for at least three turns, so it doesn't make sense to me for you to only last this many turns. Jeez, man, come on. Because now I need to use SP items, I don't have a choice. See, and he just used his VP on the turn before this. That's why I had to do that. I only have these. Oh great, this is not good. I'll do my best. I don't have a choice, I need to use this. Died. 
Okay, this makes me wonder how much BP they're getting per turn. I don't like that we can't see that. Because unlike Bravely Default, which I know some of this was taken from it, you can see how much they get in Bravely Default. And they have skills that take it. I don't like the approach of it being invisible to me. Because it's... I really don't know when I need to block or when it's safe. Because if I had blocked, I probably would have survived that. I'm just not sure what I can even do differently. I can't tell when I'm going to need to defend because I can't see how much they have in comparison to how much. So I can see if, they're, if they've stocked up enough to use three or four. But then at the same time, they seem to get it at such a frequency. And it's just bosses. I don't have this problem with normal monsters because they seem to follow conventional rules. Like when I was grinding, they would, and like when I was going through the forest, they start off with one extra. They always attack at least two times. Which makes sense. But I can't tell what anything does. And I need to compare how much uh, damage that lightning is doing versus the light. Can we, can we not do this right now? Okay, so holy light is 249. Hmm. And then I'm probably going to die doing this. Let me just not. That fang is the worst thing. My turn now. This should help. Cause the claw isn't so bad. I can work around the claw. That fang is by far the worst. Okay, so he did a singular attack, which means he's most likely going to use more than one. Of course he uses the fang on me right after I do that. Like these grapes only heal 500. So, and that, that, that fang does 600. I'm definitely trying not to use my BP. Unless I'm at four, I just don't have enough. Hoping that she'll defend me. Of course, that was just. I should have attacked him first, honestly. I'll do my best. Go ahead, get that free turn back. So this is where he proceeds to be a douche. This thing, I might definitely need more defense. 
All right, I don't have any. <laughs> I know this is gonna be the turn where he does this it. So. It's because I had to do it now, and I didn't block. It's your fang. It's your claw. It's your fang. Oh, look, at least that one missed. I'm still not sure how the status effect gets to trigger when it misses. Usually, I, you, you would think you don't get affected by the status effect. Wow. Okay. When he doesn't actually hit you. Man, it's very. This is very difficult. Not having anybody else to like really count on. Oof. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it's possible. I might have to go back to grinding more just to be able to, to do anything because I don't know how much health he has either and that thing too much of a threat versus how much VP he seems to have plus my SP is just, I don't have enough to heal Which that doesn't help. Well then. This should help. Well then. Let your wounds be healed. At this point, all I was doing was stalling for. Her. Okay. Ugh. That's annoying. He just gets four turns way too often. Like, I don't know what to do. Because he just gets four turns way too, way too frequently. Like, every, t every turn... Like, he'll attack with one, one turn. And then the next turn, he just has four. And then he'll attack with three a turn. And then the turn after that, he has two or four. And I don't understand how you have so much. Because it would be like, I would have to block the entire time, and then we're not getting anywhere. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because I can't attack. Because I'm so busy healing and then I'm running out of SP. So I can't attack with the skills that he's weak to. And because he's not weak to the weapons that I have, he's probably weak to swords. I can't use my BP to do multiple to break him faster. So it takes me five turns. In those five turns, he did at least hit me like t 10, to 10 to 15 times. And so I'm trying to save my BP so that I can hit him with heavy damage when I break him. But, I end up being so low on health that I'm forced to use my BP all up to heal. Healing items, I only have one that will heal me for more than 500. And the rest of them are 500. But his attacks do 400 to 600 each. And then if he crits, it's just annoying and ridiculous. But we've been going for an hour and 15 minutes, and I am just, it is 4 a.m. in the morning, and I just, I'm tired. So, I'm going to need to get some sleep before I can think about how to take out this boss. 
because it's still possible. There's no way that it's impossible. It's just, if I could figure out when he's going to use his BP, like if I could figure out that he's going to have all of this BP to use next turn, that's one thing that I don't like about this. I get that the older Final Fantasies did that where you can't see the boss's HP and other stuff. But in this, when they can use four powerful attacks back to back to back, it's very important you can see when that's coming. Because that's one thing that I can give Bravely Default. Bravely Default, you can see the enemy's BP just like you can see your own. Because even we have skills that can still BP, though I've never actually gotten it to work on a boss. I'm pretty sure it was impossible. But they can still be beat from you. But you can see it and you know if they've got their if they've got it high, you have to block. You have to be careful because they're going because if they get that off, they'll wipe you. Here, you can't even see it to know. But it doesn't seem like they are following the same rules either. I feel like they either have unlimited amounts of BP. Or they're getting like three per turn because it's definitely not like he's getting two BP a turn and it also seems like even if he uses his BP and does the four he still gets BP which is something we don't get our characters don't get if we use BP like as the tutorial said if we use our BP let's see uh, boost mode if you use boost mode you will not gain any BP on the following turn. But it doesn't seem like that's that's the same for bosses. He's spamming multiple attacks. Here's the boss, so it does make sense somewhat, but not when it's four attacks. <laughs> but that is all the time we have for this episode of Octopath Traveler. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I need to figure out how I'm gonna beat him. But I will see you all on the next episode.